Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration asking our Lord Jesus Christ to conform our will and our lives to Him. And so to prepare ourselves for this celebration, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of His gift may come to possess all He gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, 
and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own. But they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cyprus by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is King in splendor robe. Robe is the Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. And He has made the world firm not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust in thee. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this. Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No, Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, if uh, you would notice, one of the distinct character 
of the Easter liturgy, of our Easter celebrations, especially of the Eucharist, is that in our first reading, we read from the Acts of the Apostles. And this teaches us how the first disciples of Jesus, the first community, the early church, the early community of Christians, how they were able to live being a Christian. Ano nga ba ang pagiging Kristiyano? Paano nga ba maisa sa buhay ang pagiging tagasunod ni Kristo? Isa po yan sa mga tema ng panahon ng pagkabuhay, ng muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Sinisika po natin matutunan, aralin, at isabuhay din kung paano nga bang nasusulat sa Biblia ang pagiging mabuting kristyano ng mga unang alagad ni Jesus. And in our two readings today, we see here how we can become good Christians. First, we go to the Gospel. It is a continuation of the Gospel yesterday. And since yesterday, we see in this Gospel passage a conversation between Nicodemus and Jesus. And we see that in this conversation, Jesus is trying to enlighten, to teach Nicodemus. That is why Nicodemus, a Pharisee and an expert of the law, was very engaged with the conversation with Jesus. Sa huli nga, parang nakulitan na si Jesus kay Nicodemo. But we can see that in their conversation, there was a very deep dialogue happening between the two. And Jesus was, in his conversation with Nicodemus, was very enlightening. A Christian, therefore, speaks very well. Ang isang Kristiyano ay maayos magsalita. Ang isang Kristiyano ay mabuti ang pananalita. That is what we can learn from the life of Jesus. When you talk to Jesus, you are always enlightened. You are always inspired. Nakarinig na ba kayo ng isang taong nagsasalita na pagkatapos niyang magsalita, eh wala ka namang naintindihan. Ang gulo magsalita. At hindi ka naliwanagan kung ano-ano lang ang sinabi. That is the opposite of being a Christian. A Christian, following the example of Jesus, should speak well. Jesus does not speak evil. He speaks goodness. That is why the reminder of Jesus to Nicodemus is that you must be born from above. You must speak not only earthly things but also heavenly things. Because whatever we must say must also be inspired by God from above. A good Christian should speak well. A good Christian should speak goodness. A good Christian should speak enlightening others. The second thing is 
uh, comes from our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles. We see here in this uh, story in the first reading that the community of believers shared with one another their possessions. According to our first reading, the Apostle Barnabas sold a piece of his property that he owned, then brought the money, put it at the feet of the Apostles so that it could be distributed to the poor in the community. A Christian should act well. And what is this action? A Christian should not be selfish, thinking of himself. Ang isang Kristiyano, kagaya sa unang pagbasa na narinig natin, kagaya ni Apostol Bernabe, ay hindi niya inuna ang sarili niya para magpayaman siya, para siya ang mauna, para siya ang makinabang. Hindi. Binenta pa nga niya ang kapiraso ng kanyang kayamanan at binigay sa kanyang kapwa na mga nangangailangan. Ang isang mabuting kristyano ay hindi madamot hindi makasarili, kundi inuuna ang iba, inuuna ang kapakanan, lalo na ng mga mahihirap. A Christian speaks well, a Christian acts well. Sana po mga kapatid, ngayong araw na ito, ito po ang matutunan natin sa ating mga pagbasa na ang pagiging kristyano ay ang pagsunod kay Jesus. Una, ang isang kristyano ay nagsasalita ng maayos. Ang isang kristyano ay nagsasalita ng kabutihan. Ang isang kristyano ay hindi dapat magsalita na ng gugulo, ng aaway, naninira, hindi yan gawain ni Jesus. Ang gawain ni Jesus, mabuti ang pananalita, malinaw, at nagbibigay kaliwanagan sa kapwa. At ikalawa, sa ating unang pagbasa, ang isang Kristiyano ay mabuti rin ang gawa. Hindi inuuna ang sarili, hindi nanlalamang ng kapwa, kundi ang isang Kristiyano ay inuuna muna ang kapakanan, lalo na ng mga mahihirap. We pray that in this Eucharist, we might learn from the example Jesus has given us. As Christians, we are followers of Christ. And like Jesus, we will speak goodness and we will act and do goodness. Amen. Let us now pray to God the Father, who by His Spirit has raised up Christ and who will also give life to our mortal bodies. For every petition, let us say, Lord of heaven and earth, bless us. Lord of heaven and earth, bless us. That those invested with authority may be inspired by the Spirit to exercise their leadership in the spirit of love and service. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of heaven and earth, bless, bless us. That we may renew ourselves constantly in the spirit and grow in love to the perfect maturity of Christ. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of heaven and earth, bless us. For us celebrating this Eucharist, that we may help one another with the love which reflects the Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of, of heaven and earth, bless us. That the sick may be given medical attention through the generosity of family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of heaven and earth, bless us. That the dead may rejoice in Christ's glorious resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of heaven and earth, bless us. Lord, pour out your Spirit in our hearts that our life may be made new with the life given to us by the resurrection of Jesus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through Him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For His death is our ransom from death, and in His rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia. Mi Ave Lui si portare, Alleluia. Resurrexi, si putnix. Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.